Hey everybody, Rocky Money Figures here. Today we're going to be reviewing the brand new Marvel Legends Black Widow movie figure deluxe winter suit Black Widow. I don't know if this is an actual winter suit figure or white suit figure. Nonetheless, it's a movie Black Widow figure. So we're going to jump right into it by first off taking a look at the packaging of the figure, then taking a look at the buttload of accessories that she comes with, including this new base and stand. Then we're going to take a closer look at the figure itself and its articulation. Then afterwards, we'll compare it next to some other figures. Then we're going to head to the conclusion slash very part of the video. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the back of the packaging for the figure. There is the bio right there in case you guys want to read it. It kind of displays what this whole, you know, deluxe figure is all about. So it's got the stand, it's got the blast effects, got some of the accessories right there. Uh, yeah, this is really this is some bad posing right here, but still, it displays everything. Uh, it'll be cool if Hasbro hired some ACBA people to actually like do their product shots because, of course, you know, ACBA people are way better, you know, at posing figures than wh whoever is doing it at Hasbro. So, you know, uh, but here is the side art for the Black Widow packaging. Right there, it's the same side art on the other side. The top of the box has the Widow logo. And of course, the front of the packaging right here shows the Black Widow logo for and up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these are popping up everywhere, but I have been seeing people uh, be getting this, you know, to, uh, to well, I don't want to say scout, more like resell. I've only been seeing these go for like, I think the highest I've seen this go for is 45 which even then, I think that's a, okay price because it comes with pretty much the same amount of accessories as cosmic ghost rider so you know there's the packaging let's get into the accessories the accessories so let's get to one of the main concerns and parts which is the brand new base and you know stand for the figure so you get this base i actually kind of already scratched up mine oh is that hair anyway uh this is how the base looks it's got three three about nine holes right here and Definitely one of the holes will be for the stand. So you get them into separate pieces. You get the base, you get this piece, and then you get uh, this piece right here, which connects right here. And then you get the clamp, of course, which connects into that piece. Of course, you can put this right here. Actually, Hasbro put their logo right there as well. thought that was a nice touch. Put it there. And they, uh, this clamp does move up and down. Now, I gotta be honest, I like the effort that Hasbro's putting in, to with these deluxe figures, but this stand is kind of ugly, man. Like, they really did not need this piece right here. They really could have just added the clamp, put it on there, and there you go. But even then, you know, I popped it. Even then, it, it's kind of ugly, man. It's not very good. I mean, it is very good. Actually, I haven't tested this out. I guess we can try. She's being held by the leg right here. Uh, it does work, of course, and popped it off, but well, now it's not working with me for some reason, but yeah, it does work, it does get the job done, I probably don't recommend it to use it for your photos, though, if you're like a professional photographer in toy photography, I probably don't recommend it, if anything, just use it for like a, you know, display or something, like if you want to put this figure on your desk or any other figures that could be of use with this stand, you could definitely put it on display on like your desk or something. Anyway, uh, I'm going to pop this off for now. Just so I, I think the base is a little bit more interesting, not going to lie. So, uh, it also comes with these uh, explosions and blast effects. A bunch of these, actually. Especially this big one. I actually thought this big one was from the Black Series. Apparently, it's not. I don't know if that's true or not. It looks like it's the same scope. I think the only thing I've heard that's different is this peg. That pegs into one of the holes as well. So, you can just... Peg that in there, as you see, it's right there. Peg it in. You can peg in this one as well. This also looks very nice. So you can plug that in. And then I'm going to take these off. Oh, uh, oh, there you go. Take these off for a second. Then he also, uh, she also comes with uh, these effects. So I thought these were the Iron Man effects, but apparently not. These are all glued together. And they have one port right here. I also thought this was for the guns, but they're also not. Which I think that's a little disappointing, but it's okay. Uh, they do kind of plug into these little holes right here that are put in some random spots, but they still work. Still make that work, probably. And it comes with two separate blast effects. 
And you can just put those single ones uh, right wherever you want. So boom, boom, boom. So that's how the stand works. That's how the base works. I think it's okay. I like the initiative that Hasbro's taking to actually, like, you know, put these. I hope they improve the actual stand, though. I think the base is pretty cool. Because, of course, it also does come with the pegs. So that way you can put your Black Widow or any other figures on it. It's like, there you go, you know. It's on there right there. So... Uh, yeah, okay. I do like the, again, like the initiative that Hasbro taking. I do hope they improve their stand soon. So anyway, she comes with these little hooks. Little, little webs that turn into hooks or whatnot. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's going to use this in the movie. But as of right now, they're pretty nice accessory for rock climbing. I don't know. Then she comes with these stinger pieces. Stinger effects, which all you have to do really is you just kind of put it on here with the hand. Because it's not going to go on there all the way. So you have to put the hand with it as well, and then it's not even focusing. You have to put the hand with it as well, and then it will connect, it will stay in place. And it works really well, of course, you saw in the beginning of the video. So, yeah, she comes with two of these. I do like them. I think the new Black Widow exclusives are also going to come with them. And, of course, she comes with two pistols. Very small pistols, but still very good. Uh, you can easily just put these in her holster. They don't fall out all the way without... Just give it a good shake. No, they don't fall out. So, these are good. Of course, you can't hold them in her hands, which we'll get to in the, right now. Where did I put the... There you go. She comes with three pairs of hands. Uh, she comes out of the package with these fisted hands right here. There you go. Which look nice. Of course, very simple. They hinge up and down. And then she also comes with like... Oh, she comes with two pairs of trigger finger hands. That are, you know, that she can't hold her guns with. They do have the side-to-side the -side hinge. And then she comes with this holding cup hand right here. Which also have the up and down hinge. So I do like that. I do like that they packed them quite a bit with this deluxe figure. Hope they do more of these. I think Rectangular put out an image that they're actually going to do a lot more. One for the Eternals movie, I think. Or an Eternals figure. I think it might have been the villain. If I'm not mistaken. So hopefully we'll get that soon enough. Or see images of that. Anyway let's get to the actual figure itself. So getting a look at the Black Widow figure right here. And this is a great figure man. I have to say. Give Hasbro some props. They made a, a, a props. They give they give us a good Black Widow figure. I believe this is the same body mold. As the one that's the regular release. That comes with the Black Widow wave. I don't have that one. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, But. You know, here it is. Also, if my throat sounds, you know, weird to you, I do have a sore throat. Do not worry. I do not have coronavirus. It's just a sore throat. Uh, but anyway, getting a closer look. The head scope looks very nice. Looks like Scarlett Johansson. So it does look very nice. I do think they made the forehead a little big. I don't know. Might just be me. Uh, I'm just noticing the camera too. Like, just viewing it without the camera doesn't look too big. But just in the camera, she kind of looks like Megamind. <laughs> but uh, she has a nice hair. It's got it's red hair with the black wash in it, so it looks very nice. A little scuffing right there. Uh, taking a look at the rest of the suit. A lot of nice detail. I think this is using the same body mode as the uh, black and gray suit from the actual movie wave. Because it has these stripes. And I think these stripes had the gray in it. These have the white parts right here. It's got the single joint elbow. These do bend in more than 90. Actually, I'll get into that later. Got the black stingers right here. Got this whole thing that uh, crossbones, the movie, not the movie crossbones, uh, combo crossbones came with. Again, if you move it around, it's definitely going to get all bunched up and whatnot. Yeah, it's just a nice white suit, I have to say. She does come with heels, which are uh, she's not very difficult to stand, actually. Yeah, there you go. She's not very difficult to stand, so... There's the back of the figure. You just focus. That way you all get good cheating on, you know. <laughs> but anyway, this is the back of the figure. Uh, let's take a look at the articulation. So, actually, let me double check if she has the... Nope, just the ball joint. I know I've seen a couple of the movie figures and the Winter Soldier figure that I reviewed had the Dumbo joint instead. Uh, but this one does not. So, um, her head can move side to side. And down... And up just a little bit, actually. 
this is this piece of hair that's kind of getting in the way. It kind of annoys me. If I ever try to put it down, it kind of moves out of the way. But yeah, no real head tilting. Uh, shoulder pads do go into the, the the torso, so she can move. No, she can only move her arm up that far. Move it down. Move 360. She has an elbow swivel right here, and she does have single joint elbows. Man, I really have a sore throat. I'm gonna take some medicine tonight. There you go. Um. Oh, I thought they bend in more than 90. I tested this out earlier. They do bend in more than 90, but I thought they bend in more. I tested this out earlier. They bend in pretty well. Oh, I guess not. Maybe it was just my imagination. My hopes. So, uh, hands move up and down and side to side. Of course, these other hands, uh, their hinges move side to side. These move up and down. Just so we get that out of the way. She does have a nice uh, diaphragm joint. She can move down, get everything straight. That way you guys can see. She can move down, uh, not too far down. Uh, a little bit more back, though. She can tilt with it and side to side. Her um, legs can move up that far. They can move back that, not very much. And, of course, this strap does move along with the leg movement, so, uh, die cut right here, double jointed knees, if I can get that to work, boop, boop, touches her own butt, so that's some good articulation, uh, ankles move down, or rather the heels, ankles move up, they move up a good amount, and she does have ankle pivot, of course, since there are heels, they're gonna move a little bit differently, they're gonna move more like side to side, but, they, it is pretty much a pivot. So I'm going to stand her back up, and we're going to get to the comparisons. Yeah, you know what? Definitely, from far away, she does not, you know, the forehead is not bothering me as much. Uh, Let's get the ruler out, or the tape measure. She's definitely shorter than six inches, I can tell you that. I'm pretty sure she is. And I can't really see in the camera view. Yep, she's shorter than six inches. It's not even focusing. Come on, camera. There you go. I'm going to keep moving the camera as I both focus and hold the tape measure. So, yeah, she's definitely a little bit shorter than six inches. Let's get some comparisons going. I'm sorry for focus. I think it's because it's, like, bright white. That's why. So, it kind of, like, leaves. Anyway, let's get some comparisons going. So here is the new Black Widow figure next to the Taskmaster figure and the Crossbow figure that I also recently reviewed. Then here is the new Black Widow figure next to the Winter Soldier that I also recently reviewed. And the, well, I was about to say MCU Dare Daredevil, but not really anymore, huh? Uh, rest in peace, Daredevil. We miss you. Anyway, here he is next to the Charlie Cox Daredevil. And here, here she is next to the also... You know, the deluxe Red Hulk figure. So, well, what came out? Archangel, the Giant Man, Red Hulk, and now this Black Widow figure, right? Uh, Yeah, I believe that's it. I think there's one more that I'm missing, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Venom. Actually, I'm getting Venom this week as of the time of this recording. Today's Monday the 16th. So, I'm actually getting Venom this week, actually. So, stay tuned for that review. I cannot wait to review that guy. And lastly, for comparisons, here is the new movie White Suit Black Widow next to the uh, Walmart Endgame Captain America and the SH Figuarts Black Widow from Endgame as well. Uh, these two kind of do... My brother said these, these two look similar. I think besides the color difference, they don't really look that similar, to be honest. Uh, I still think that Marvel or Hasbro got the face a little bit more right, just looking at both of them now. This one looks more like Scarlett Johansson to me. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments which one looks like Scarlett, uh, Scar Joe. Alright, let's head to the conclusion slash verdict part of the video. Okay, so here is Black Widow demonstrated on the stand. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, man. I am really losing my voice. I, I Again, I do apologize if I really sound different. Uh, again, once again, not coronavirus. I'm just losing my voice. Uh, but... Yeah, uh, this is definitely the right way to use the stand. Now, it may not seem perfect to you guys, but, I mean, whoever hired that guy, whoever hires those guys at Hasbro who, you know, poses them for the promo images, man, they gotta hire someone else. They gotta hire some ACBA people. They gotta hire Book Knights, 
Shardimus Prime. Well, well, yeah, Shardimus Prime does some decent poses. Uh, Jester Hernandez does some crazy poses. Uh, but and he balances them. He balances them too. So they gotta hire somebody good over there because man, they just suck at poses. Let's not get sidetracked. Let's get to the actual figures. Pros and cons. Yeah, this the figure alone is pretty cool. I think if they would have just done a standard release, I still would have picked it up. Uh, but the fact that they actually went the long way and made a whole deluxe line, and especially for this Black Widow figure, which was pretty unexpected, but they actually cram-packed it with a bunch of accessories. It's on the same line as the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Cosmic, in fact, I think Cosmic Ghost Rider came with less accessories, uh, also including the bike. Whereas this Black Widow figure, you know, she comes with a lot of accessories, man. I will say, though, I think I do like the Red Hulk better. Though, you know, this one's got more accessories, so... And it's not only good for, you know, the Black Widow figure itself, but it's also good for, like, ACBA, you know, toy picture potential. So, I will say that is good. So, as rating goes, rating this whole set as a whole... <laughs> lol, I just said whole set as a whole. Rating the set as a whole... I am going to give this figure a 9.5 out of 10. I think it would have gone straight 10 out of 10 if that stand was better. If they made the stand better. Also, the promo image sucks. All right. So, anyway, getting that frustration out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to check out my Instagram and YouTube and whatnot, wherever you guys are seeing this. Also, check out my eBay and offer. It will be in the description of the video. And without further ado, I'll see you guys next time.